Yo, 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 you two, what it do? 1069, aka your mom's favorite mobile boy, back with another video. And today I have some arena tips and tricks for you guys of those who play on Fortnite Mobile, but this will help you out no matter what console you play on. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and drop a comment down below, because once we hit 5k subs, which will be any day now, I'll be doing a V-Buck giveaway and be giving back to one of our subscribers. This was my first time hitting a 360 no scope to win the game. Pretty dope shot. But getting right into the points and tips and tricks, the main thing I do to try and get more points and to get better at the game is basically just get high placement. I found when I can make it through high placement games, a lot of the times I'm going to play a lot better with end game scenarios just because I played stuff like zone wars and box fights a lot and that's usually the skills and tips that you're going to need to be able to have towards the end of the game. In my opinion, the most important thing that will decide whether you're going to be able to make endgame and get a lot of points is based off your loot. And really the key of loot is not the guns, which is what you'd expect, but you're going to want to have lots of heals and specifically fish. So the place I go on the map is anywhere in the block 3A. If you look at the map, any of the houses or landmarks over there, I'd recommend dropping at. Just because nobody ever goes to them, you'll have free loot. Really good guns. One of them has like the new chests. I don't really know what they're called, but it always comes with like at least a purple gun. And so you, you always start off with good weapons. There's a supply truck that has the slurp stuff in it. So you easily can get 200 shield every game. And it just makes it super easy. One thing I recommend heavily that I haven't heard in videos before is know where the bodies of water are that you're going to be able to fish at because fish are the best key in staying alive in fights just because they're so easy to pop. If you watch guys like Mongrel or Benji Fishy, you'll see it allows them to stay in the zone for way longer than most opponents can just because they have the fish and it's instant 50 health. With the green ones, you can stay in super easily, stack up four of those. And then the floppers, you can get three of those. Obviously, the floppers are better because they give shield as well. But I would take a good amount of both. That's what I'd really recommend. You might think to be good in arena or to place well, you have to be able to do all these crazy builds that guys like Flash or Unreal, Ducky can do. But really, as long as you can tunnel decently well and 90 you're fine that's honestly all the builds i really practice before going in and my tunnels aren't crazy my 90s aren't crazy i'm not known as one of the best but right now i have a 20 percent win percentage in solos and a two something kd which is pretty good in my opinion for playing in arena for really never playing arena this season uh, i've been trying to play right now and I have a good amount of points right now. And I've been playing games using the same tips I'm teaching you guys. So you should be able to get at least around a 20% win percentage, I'd say, if we're at the same skill level. Maybe more, maybe less, depending on what your skills are. But if you follow these tricks, they're going to help you be really good in Arena. I hope this video helps you guys out. If it did, make sure you drop a like on this video because it means a lot. And Colton put out a video that's doing really good yesterday, so go check that out if you haven't already. Make sure your friends check it out as well. It always helps you guys recommending your friends who play Fortnite uh, to help check out our channel so we can grow faster. I put a funny clip at the end of this, so I hope you guys enjoy, and that's going to be it. Peace!